Alright guys, in this video, I wanted to look at Iowa's quarterback CJ Beathard. He is one of the few quarterbacks that actually has pro style experience and has taken a large portion of snaps from under center. This should immediately help him transition at the next level. Also, he is a good scheme fit for Kyle Shanahan's offense. To play in the system, the main traits are West Coast concepts, lots of play action, lots of bootlegs, and many formations and motions all paired with a zone stretch running game. As a quarterback, you have to be able to throw from all levels and you have to be good at throwing on the move as well as staying tall in the pocket. When executed properly, it is one of the most fun and explosive offenses to watch. But just like any other system, you still need to be a smart quarterback. And you still have to appease Kyle or he'll put you in his doghouse. And we all know how well that went for Donovan McNabb. As I said before, Bethard has plenty of pro style experience and worked from under center for a large portion of his snaps. He is a pro style quarterback. Versus Michigan, Iowa runs a slant flat concept using play action to clear the linebackers. It appears like Bethard is laid on his throw, but it's actually on the wide receiver. He is laid off the snap and then takes a whopping five step release on a quick slant route. The pass is well placed, thrown low to allow the receiver to box out the defender. Since the defender is playing physically, the wide receiver can't hold onto the ball for the completion. Digging deeper, Beathard has already executed certain concepts that I know Kyle will want to bring to his offense. Here he executes a stick concept versus Michigan State in their 2015 match. Reading the left side of the field first, he determines quickly that the Spartans have good coverage on his initial reads. He then moves on to the check down, releasing from the backfield. While you may see an incompletion, the defense clearly won the snap from the start and got into the backfield in under 2.5 seconds. That's simply not enough time for anybody to execute this play properly, but him going through his progressions quickly was very promising in my opinion. As a passer, he's generally accurate on short and medium throws, but when throwing deep, his completion percentage was dreadful. He has good touch, just like in this pass versus Stanford, but he missed receivers both short and long, generally not giving them the best opportunity to make a play down the field. On the run, his passes tend to stay on the high side, putting too much arm into them. Coming from a strong 2015 season to his 2016 campaign, his play definitely regressed. In 2015, he was much more confident making full field reads and going through his progressions. One thing that consistently stood out to me was his hesitation and his lack of anticipation on timing routes. For someone that has a good amount of pro style experience, he has to understand that this is a problem. He's often slow and waits for the receiver to completely break on his route. Versus Stanford, this is the timing pattern and he waits in the pocket giving up one of the advantages the offense has over the defense. As a side note, what I don't understand is that on the field side, you have two off-man coverage defenders with both of your outside receivers running quick slant routes. All you need is two yards, so why not take a quick shot to your slot receiver and continue the drive? Instead, he takes a one-on-one, -on -one contested matchup versus the defender playing press on the line of scrimmage. Now this noticeable hesitation happened throughout every single game I watched. Against most college defenders, this will usually, at worst, end in incompletion. But later in the same game, Bethard throws an ugly pick six on a speed out. Not only was this a poorly thrown ball behind his receiver, the defender reads him like a book and breaks on the route before he even throws the pass. Just awful. Now, some will claim that Iowa had no talent in 2016, and that's definitely true, just like in this two-point conversion in the Michigan upset. The receiver drops the pass wide open, and this happened many times throughout this year. But in my opinion, Beathard didn't elevate the level of play around him as much as I wanted to see against top-notch talent. In his final game of his career versus Florida, he posted a stat line of 7 completions over 23 attempts, gaining just 55 yards while also throwing 3 interceptions. It was an ugly match from start to finish. I want to talk about two plays in this game and both happened before he injured his hamstring. In the first quarter, he has number 83 running a quick spot route. Beathard takes a snap, locks onto his receiver, completely ignoring the defender sitting between him and his target. He pump fakes, which doesn't move the defender at all. Then, he throws the pass anyways right into the defender's hands. Yeesh, this is horrible. Later in the second quarter, Beathard takes a snap from under center and runs play action. At the end of his drop, he rushes his footwork and loses balance throwing the pass too far for his receiver. While normally, his mechanics and his footwork are actually pretty solid, 
Typically, he has clean footwork coming out from under center, and he holds the ball in the proper place below his chin. He has a quick and clean release. It's just that on certain plays, he'll rush the throw trying to make a play and not setting his feet properly. But again, his footwork and his general mechanics are actually better than most. As an athlete, he actually has underrated speed, especially running downhill. Escaping the pocket on third down, he sprints out of bounds gaining an extra 7 yards. When he scrambles, I really want to see him work on a sliding as he often prefers contact or going down head first. Beathard is a tough quarterback and he consistently battled throughout injuries during his time at Iowa. He also did a great job of standing tall in the pocket, throwing the pass anyways knowing he was about to be hit. For me, his pro comparison is Kirk Cousins. Both quarterbacks were team leaders, they both were accurate and made quick, safe throws, not taking too many risks. Both also struggled with the deep ball in college. Now I think Cousins has marginally higher upside, but if Beathard continues to get better at timing patterns and working on his deep ball, he easily could make for an average to above average quarterback in the NFL. While you may scoff at this status, but as a third round pick, you can't exactly expect much more. Beathard isn't Tom Brady, and Beathard isn't Peyton Manning, but just like Cousins, you can still build a strong team around him and make a playoff run with his leadership abilities. Also, his scheme fit in Kyle Shanahan's offense is definitely a plus. Alright, well that's all I have in this video. Next up is Derek Barnett who is the Eagles first round pick. I wanted to discuss him as a pass rusher and what he brings to the Eagles defense. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Feel free to donate to my work on my Patreon account and you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel Gold.